Ding dong, the witch is dead, or in this case, ding dong, the jerk has finally retired. What's going on, everybody? Liam here, everything NYJ. And yes, I am openly a Tom Brady hater. As a New York Jets fan, I despise the guy. Tom Brady has been responsible for some of the most embarrassing moments in Jets history, some of the most embarrassing losses. So as a New York Jets fan, I despise him. I absolutely do. Do I respect him? Absolutely. Do I think he's the greatest quarterback of all time? 100%. But once he left New England to head to Tampa, I loved it. And now with Tom Brady, what seems to be actually officially retiring this time, I don't think Tom Brady will be back by uh, week one of next year, but you never know. I mean, Tom Brady has already destroyed his, uh, destroyed his family one time. Um, I don't think Tom Brady's getting back in. I don't think he's down for the grind once again. He's going to be 46 if he does play week one of the 2023 season. I think he's going to be heading to Fox where he's going to make a boatload of money as an analyst for the next 10 years and possibly longer if that's something that he wants to continue to do. So with Tom Brady retiring, what does this mean for the New York Jets? I don't think it means much for Aaron Rodgers, but I do think it elevates the value of Derek Carr. Derek Carr, if he is not traded by uh, the third day after the Super Bowl, which would be February 15th, he becomes a free agent for the first time in his career. And a lot of people, uh, a lot of the New York Jets fan base, including myself, we want Aaron Rodgers as our plan A. But Aaron Rodgers was on the Pat McAfee show yesterday, and there doesn't seem to be any urgency uh, from Aaron Rodgers on what his future will hold. He doesn't know if he wants to retire. You know, this is yet another offseason of Aaron Rodgers saying, oh, I don't know what I want to do. You know, there's reports out there uh, that I haven't been a part of. And, you know, this these guys are saying this, but I'm not sure. There's a lot of that going on from Aaron Rodgers. And this could drag out until June, maybe July. Um, but with Derek Carr, with Tom Brady gone, that just gives Derek Carr a much larger market. I don't think Derek Carr uh, – he has a no-trade clause. So if they, I don't think he's going to be traded. And if he does uh, – if he is attempted to be traded, he could just say, no, I'm not going there. Why would he want to help the Vegas Raiders who are pushing him out the door – why would he want to help give them picks? He could just be released and become a free agent, and then he could pick where he wants to go. And there's going to be a large market for uh, Derek Carr. If this thing with Aaron Rodgers does drag on and Derek Carr is uh, taken already, what do the New York Jets do? Where do they go from there? Where's that veteran quarterback that Woody Johnson was talking about? I mean, you can't possibly look at Baker Mayfield or Jacoby Brissett as – that big franchise veteran quarterback. You can't do it. That's not the option. The New, York, the New York Jets at least need to call the Packers and try for Aaron Rodgers. You could argue that the entire NFC South needs a quarterback. I mean, Frank Reich with the Carolina Panthers, you don't think he would want somebody like a Derek Carr? Uh, look at the 49ers in the NFC. You don't think that they would want a Derek Carr? I mean, they... They have a healthy quarterback, somebody like Derek Carr. Derek Carr is a, you know, he's proven that he could stay on the field. He could stay healthy. You're telling me that with a healthy quarterback, the San Francisco 49ers aren't going to the Super Bowl? They're a win-now team. And, you know, they had Christian McCaffrey as quarterback at one point in the, play, in the, in the championship game. That's terrible. <laughs> That's absolutely terrible. I felt, I felt bad for them. I really do. But, I mean... What do you do? I mean, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they're probably going to be tanking and, you know, maybe looking towards the draft. And even if they're not tanking, they have Todd Bowles as a, a head coach. It's very easy to lose almost every game with Todd Bowles as your head coach. But there are just so many teams out there that need a quarterback. With Tom Brady gone, that leaves a void. That leaves an even bigger market for somebody like a Derek Carr. What do you guys do? What do you guys think? Do you think that this elevates Derek Carr's trade value? Do you think this affects the New York Jets? Or is it Aaron Rodgers a bust? Do you, are you guys even considering Derek Carr? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. We'll talk Jets soon. Oh, by the way, tune in tonight on the Everything NYJ podcast at 8 o'clock uh, Eastern time. Boy Green is joining the show. Thank you guys for all of your support. Thank you guys for checking out all of our latest videos, all of our podcasts. Me and Italy Jet, we definitely appreciate it. Talk to you guys tonight. Go Jets.